Hi there, my name is Yuri and I'll be taking you through a power demo of Lens Reaper. What you're looking at is a top-down view of a sample IT environment. Every insight and visual I'm about to show you is built on information that Lens Reaper gathers for you automatically with no manual input at all. All you need is about 15 minutes to deploy and configure before the data comes rolling in. So we're starting here at a dashboard view, the general overview, making sure you have an idea about how many assets we have, the software that we have, even how many devices out are out of warranty and so much more, but it doesn't end here. You also have, of course, a view on the assets itself. To give you an idea about the breadth, if you just look at this little one I'm scrolling down, ranging from Windows to firewalls to Chromebooks, Androids, and you name it, Lens Reaper is able to capture it. But we also have views on security, software, even operational technology, life cycle and vulnerabilities. If I click on vulnerabilities as an example, we have an idea about how many active vulnerabilities we have, how many new have been found, and even what are the latest published ones to be seen. You can of course also create your own ones as you can see here. I have an OS summary view and also a RSS feed available. Right. Now we can also have another view, having a top-down view about maybe even our diagram and our network topology. For this, we'll jump into the diagrams and we have a network topology available here. It's based on an IP location that I've created. It's called Contoso Building 1. And if I click on it, we have then a very nice view. We can zoom out a bit so we have the full view and we can also make sure that we just expand everything. By expanding everything, you can see ranging from a network device to any kind of Windows or Linux or even printers, but also ESXi servers as well. And to give an idea then maybe on how deep we can go, because this is of course really high level, let's jump into a ESXi server itself. Now it's populating my data for this specific ESXi server, and then we have very specific data available purely for this kind of product meaning we have a good summary, we have an idea about what kind of serial number it has, even the BIOS information, some high level hardware information, but we can actually dig deeper into the config, having proprietary information about ESXi itself, ranging from, let's say, uh, on the kind of disk capacity, towards even what kind of license do we have, and so much more. Going from here, if I go into my VMware piece, I do have my guests as well. These are also automatically picked up and for this we'll jump into a other device, a Windows device as an example. With this Windows device, again, a great summary page, knowing of course what's the, in this case, allocated hardware towards it. Uh, we know the oper operating system built and version number. The model is of course a VMware. In this case, it's also part of Active Directory, as we can see. You have network information. This is the one that you saw actually going back into the diagram. But here, same concept, you can jump into config to really dig deep into this kind of information. And one thing to always show off with, if I scroll down just a bit, next to basic operating system information is of course quick fix. This is for any kind of security related matter, making sure we have of course security related information in the form of patches. Next to patches, installed software. One last thing to show here is very important to know. So we also know, of course, what's the name of the software that's installed on it, any versioning, uh, the publisher, and even up to the install date. We do the same for uh, Linux and Apple Mac and other kind of devices, but this is just an example, of course. And you see one nice colorful risk inside here. This means this device might be uh, vulnerable to a certain extent. So in this case, we can see actually which kind of vulnerabilities are available. And how does this look like now in the end? If I would like to know more, I can just click on this CVE. It's populated by the NIST catalog. And we know, of course, what's the description. We know in this case how the score has been built up and even some references. And it seems that this device is not the only one being affected by this potential vulnerability. We also have assets here. There are about 90 assets that could be vulnerable because of this CVE. Now, all this kind of information that we have here is great to have. It's all available, but you can also make sure we can populate into other tools. For this, we have our marketplace. Marketplace is a standard already set to go kind of integration with other tools. There are about 32 integrations ready to go, ranging from CMDBs to even simple service desk ticketing to C 
and of course also security. Any kind of tools you might already have, you can already connect with. But it doesn't end here. You also have, of course, any kind of open API in the backend available. It supports GraphQL and REST and can create any kind of connection you would like to any kind of tools in your tech stack. Now, thank you very much for sticking with me through this quick demo. As a next step, you can get started right now by going to lancer.com and click on the Try Now button in the top right corner or sign up for a personal demo with myself or one of my colleagues.